Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this one's going to be an interesting one. Uh, rumors of a Blake Wheeler trade possibly coming, and Paul Maurice getting hired by the Florida Panthers. But before we jump into that, I just want to show off that I have moved the channel also to Instagram. So over there I'll be having up-to-date news, all things surrounding the Winnipeg Jets that maybe don't warrant a full-length video. Uh, I still might make videos about it, but I will have an update on Instagram as well, just as a little news thing to connect more with the community. Uh, so if you want to go check that out, it's at JetsHubYT. Link will be in the description. Thanks in advance. Let's get on into the video. So this was a little surprising to me. I didn't think that the Jets were going to go this route. I thought it would be more of a buyout, but it does appear that they are shopping Blake Wheeler, and it does seem that teams are interested. Now, where he goes, I have no idea. This is like brand new information. We probably won't find out for a while, but Blake Wheeler's no move clause actually ends on July 1st. So he'll have two years left at 8.25 million, which is a big contract. They will probably and likely have to retain some salary there to move him. But it does sound like teams are pretty interested and teams view him as a piece that they're missing to go for a cup run. Now Blake Wheeler isn't washed by any means I don't think. He's not the player that he was four years ago obviously because I mean when you're 35 that's just not going to be the case for anybody anymore. Uh, however he did have 60 points in 65 games played but with all the problems in the locker room I mean with him and Shifley reported and everything like that I do think that this would be a great move for Winnipeg clear a ton of cap space and maybe freshen up the room bring in some new faces and um, of course that'll depend on who the coach is and a lot of other stuff we'll see what happens with trots um, but going down the line here this is something huge to watch maybe at the draft stuff happens maybe not uh maybe he stays who knows but what would you guys like to see let me know in the comments below moving on now the florida panthers have fired uh andrew burnett which is not really a shocker it's been rumored but what is a shocker is who they hired they hired paul maurice former winnipeg jets head coach to be their new head coach so really weird hire. I think this is an awful hire by Florida. I don't understand it. I mean, I know Burnett was likely carried by how good that Florida team was. Uh, he's a great coach, but I mean, he definitely didn't do all that by himself. The Florida team was stacked. Um, however, he is on the market now. If the trots thing doesn't work out for the Jets, I wouldn't be opposed to getting Burnett. I think that he would fit uh, perfectly with some of the guys that we have already like Ehlers and Connor and prospects such as Declan Chisholm and Billy Hainala. I think that would be a lot of fun but hiring Paul Maurice I just don't see how the Panthers can reach the level that they were last year alone even without Paul Maurice uh, but I think uh, a better coach would definitely have helped with that I don't see Paul moving the needle and I think it gets a little worse because Leah Hextel had said that it does appear that there will be coaches with Jets connections going uh, with Paul to Florida, which probably means it's Charlie Huddy, Dave Lowry, or maybe even uh, Jamie Compom. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen there. That's really strange that Florida would sell out and just, I mean, take the Jets staff if they really want to go that route. I think it's the wrong route, uh, but it does sound like that's where they're going. Uh, I wish the best of Paul. I really like Paul as a person, but as a coach, I just, I don't think he's there anymore. I think he's, he's not the right fit for Florida. Weird hire. But what do you guys think? Am I wrong? Probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, just let me know what you think. And are you at all interested in Andrew Burnett being the Jets' next head coach if Trotz doesn't work out? I definitely like to hear what you guys have to say there. But that's where I'm going to leave it today, guys. Again, if you want to check out the Instagram for all up-to-date Jets news and special content, uh, go check it out at, at JetsFYT. Link will be in the description. Uh, but once again, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already for more Jets content and more Jets news. Uh, lots of stuff is going to be heating up here in the coming weeks with Trots Watch, um, the draft, free agency, lots of content coming. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everyone.